Come to the song, come to the dance. Bring all you are, bring all you be. Come with your voice, come with your heart. Come and journey with me. Come and journey with me. Come let the sun fill up your eyes, take the time to look around and love, just love, and walk with each other, come and journey with me, come and journey.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Patrick and Elizabeth, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this, your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. On this solemn celebration of our, this wedding, and also the, in honor of the Blessed Mother of God, we sing now the Gloria. Glory to God, God in, in the, the highest, highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of, of good will. will. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore, adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. This is the word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy.
May the Lord bless us all the days of our life. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life may you see your children's children peace be upon israel may the lord bless us all the days of our lives A reading from the letter of Saul, St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his sons into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. This is the word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Please be seated. Uh, 
On behalf of Liz and Pat, I wish to welcome everyone to St. Charles to witness the celebration of their marriage. We will welcome all who are here in person and all who are joining us via the live stream who are not able to be here in person because of sickness or health concerns. We are praying for your recovery and your health. And I know Liz and Pat are grateful for your prayers. This is not what they planned, but what they are doing today in the midst of these circumstances speaks to their faith. Faith is not putting into action our plan and asking God to bless it, but responding to God's presence, what God is doing in our lives, saying yes to him in the midst of the unexpected. That is how we receive his blessing, something greater than we could imagine or think was possible. Today, the church celebrates the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. She became the mother of God by saying yes to what was not in her plan. How can this be since I do not know man? She doesn't doubt what appears as a contradiction. How can I be both virgin and mother? But her yes expresses her eagerness to see how the Lord will bring about the fulfillment of this plan in this very unexpected, impossible way. She says, let it be done to me according to your word. She's open to God's grace, and by her yes, Christ is made present to her and brought into the world. This is how the divine marriage proposal took place. And this is how God's proposal to us always takes place, how it always comes. This is how God comes into our lives today and how marriage is made a sacrament that reveals the presence of God. The other is the unexpected sign that opens us up to God that is an invitation to say yes. Liz and Pat said that this describes really, in many ways, how they met. They met online and said it was very random. Pat said he wasn't really looking. Liz said she was not trying hard. Pat said, you know, when he met her, that there was something unique and different about Liz. She knew what she wanted. In other words, she was serious about her desire. She wasn't doing this online thing just to have fun or to fool around. She said many other guys were, were but not really interested in a relationship. She was just about to delete the app when she saw something funny that Pat posted. She wanted to hear his story. He, when they met, she said, looked at her differently than other guys did. She thought that, you know, she was too old or too boring or too much like an old lady to be doing this to be of interest to others, but found in Patrick a surprising fit. She said their relationship was easy. He wasn't looking for a party girl. Pat had been through a lot, and from his experience was aware of what was good for him and what was not. He said, I could recognize it from a distance. Seeing clearly really what corresponded to his heart was not his doing, but a gift. Liz said she never thought that she would meet someone like Pat, that didn't think that such a person existed. They both saw and experienced in each other God's mercy 
and love. I'm cared for and loved with all my problems and issues. The other cares for me, not just what they can get from me. When we, this experience is that when we are not trying to make it happen according to our plan, that's when we discover the unexpected gifts, that we receive what we thought was impossible. These circumstances in Liz and Pat's response help us to see what is most important, what really matters is to be with each other, to receive God's blessing. You can have a party any time, but now is when something new begins. Seeing ourselves as loved by God, as his beloved children, is what frees us from being slaves to our circumstances. This is what you are to recognize in each other. The other has put a face on God's love for you. See each other as the answer to prayer. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. As any married couple will tell you, anyone who is uh, following their vocation in life, there will always be a reason or an excuse we can find, an obstacle or a problem of some sort, something that doesn't fit our plan, that for us becomes a reason to hold back, to not move forward, to not trust, to say we're not ready. And then when that happens, we get stuck. Life loses its adventure. We lose interest in marriage and life. It becomes just another project and a chore. Instead of following the mystery of what God is doing. We ask Mary's intercession for you today that you will always say yes to that mystery of God's plan and keep all these things like Mary that you are seeing, reflecting on them in your heart. That's what keeps you open to God's grace. May the Lord who has begun these good things in you bring them to completion. May God bless you. Let his face shine upon you and give you his peace. Come on up. Put the rings over here. Okay. Take them out of the box and just take them out of the box and put them on, the, on there. Okay. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Patrick and Elizabeth, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage 
to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Patrick, do you take Elizabeth to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? Elizabeth, do you take Patrick to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Patrick, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and, the of the Father and, of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. We now continue our prayers for this newly married couple with our prayers of the faithful. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of our sister Elizabeth and our brother Patrick, let's commend them to the Lord. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That these faithful Christians, Elizabeth and Patrick, newly joined in holy matrimony, may always enjoy health and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer that he will bless their covenant as he chose to sanctify marriage at Cana in Galilee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That they be granted perfect and fruitful love, peace and strength, and that they bear faithful witness to the name of Christian. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christian people may grow in virtue day by day, and that all who are burdened by any need may receive the help of grace from above. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the grace of the sacrament will be renewed by the Holy Spirit in all married persons here present. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Graciously pour out upon this husband and wife, O Lord, the spirit of your love, to make them one heart and one soul, so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined, and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now profess our faith and pray together the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and was again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We may be seated as we prepare our altar and bring up our gifts of bread and wine. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name Neil, if you were able. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. Elizabeth, St. Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints, in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Strengthen, we pray, in the grace of marriage, Patrick and Elizabeth, whom you have brought happily to their wedding day, that under your protection they may always be faithful in their lives, to the covenant they have sealed in your presence. Your compassionate and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Here we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrick and Elizabeth, if you'd please kneel again to receive the nuptial blessing. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on these his servants now married in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and make of one heart in love by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, those he has joined by a holy covenant. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage to be so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit, and pour down, pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Elizabeth, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. 
May her husband entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. Now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. We grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion after the bride and groom receive, those Catholics who are present who are spiritually prepared to receive the Blessed Sacrament today may come forward. If you're not Catholic or not prepared to receive today, please remain in your pew and pray for Liz and Pat. If you are wearing a mask at today's liturgy and wish to receive communion, please remove the mask before receiving the body of Christ. Oh! 
Let us pray. <clears throat> we have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Following the uh, solemn blessing at the end, Elizabeth and Patrick will present some roses to Our Lady uh, in front of the Christmas creche continuing to ask Our Lady's intercession in, in their marriage. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Mary, Mother of God, the Lord full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star. So strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. You were chosen by the Father, you were chosen. For the Son, you were chosen from all women, and for a woman, shining warm, gentle woman, quiet light, morning star. So strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. It's my pleasure and the church's joy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Foley.
Sorry, I'm not very good.